Today we're teaching second year uh, sciences undergraduates um, a course called and Petrography, which is how to describe um, <laughs> minerals and in this session rocks in hand specimen. The beauty of this practical is that they're given um, a whole uh, suite of different rocks um, in the practical to look at. Um, and then they take uh, what they've learnt from discussing with the demonstrator. Uh, they take those skills away with them to describe then a, a separate um, selection of, of rocks that they won't have seen before. I think, f especially for geology, it's really important that they, um, they see the, the actual specimens. Um, you can talk through things theoretically and you can talk through uh, things like texture, but until they've actually seen it in, in a rock, it doesn't really mean very much to them. Um, and really, in geology, we, we talk about getting your eye in, which uh, means just sort of learning how to take what you've learnt theoretically and apply it. The rock I've chosen today and the rock that uh, we've been studying is uh, this uh, snowflake obsidian. And um, uh, it's characterised by three main features. Uh, the first being, obviously, it's uh, snowflakes that are on it. Uh, the second being it's very glassy and amorphous texture um, and the third being uh, it's conchoidal fracture so that when the rock breaks it breaks in a kind of concave shape and it has kind of these concentric circles going around it. The reason why these sessions are quite important is because um, uh, geology is very uh, field-based work and so we need to be able to identify rocks and uh, features in the field and if I read these in a textbook, it's not quite the same as having a uh, mental image of what I'm looking for. The rock I've been looking at is this one. Uh, it's another igneous rock. Um, its colour is quite dark, which is classified as mafic. And that means it's got a particular type of mineral in it. Um, its grain size is seriot, which means it's got quite a wide range of grain sizes. You can see the, the dark stuff is quite, quite small, you can't see the individual crystals. And they've got a wide range of grain sizes going up to these big white ones, which you can see there. Um, it's quite high density. Um, if you lift it up, you can feel it's quite, quite heavy, even though it's got these things called uh, vesicles, which are air bubbles. Um, it basically means that gas has been escaping, which means it's extrusive, so it forms above the surface. Uh, inside the, the vesicles, the pores, you can see uh, hematite balls. They're really small, it's a fair cool uh, metallic balls. Gram mass, the dark stuff, is probably a, a pyroxene. And the, the white crystals seem to be a, a feldspar. They're probably quite calcitic because they're quite white. Um, I think I call this a vesicular basalt, um, which is a type of igneous rock.